Good morning. My name is Bello Abonore. I'm here to present a topic tied to prioritization of Kazawa stakeholder perceptions and explication for breeding. Lesson learned from RTD for projects in Nigeria. This study was conducted with my colleagues whose names appeared on the slide. Cassava is a major stable crop in sub-Saharan Africa that contributes to food security and economy in the region. Cassava's value chain actors had multiple reasons for engaging cassava cultivation and value addition. It was amazed that most release varieties did not meet the need of cassava end users. This led to low adoption of these varieties and a major concern to do not. This study was conducted to understand the preferences of cassava stakeholders to assist breeders in violation of building objective to enhance adoption and utilization. The study was conducted in two parts, a survey aspect as well as the processing, processing aspect to understand the full quality of cassava root after a first. This is to assist breeders in the of cassava that meet the stakeholder needs. The study was conducted in two states in Nigeria, Oshunabene State, with 207 respondents, comprised of the young and adult men and women that were experienced in cassava production and final addition. The states selected were notable for cassava production and final addition, two central districts in the state, and four communities were selected within each interior zone. Respondents selected were mainly farmers, farmers processors, equitable processors, garden market and consumer. Farmer processors are those that involve cassava cultivation and as well engage in conversion of cassava root into gari after a fest. I also sell the, sell the gari to consumers. Structural engineers and checklist guide were used for key informant interview, individual interviews, food focus group discussions, market interview, and participatory processing. The results. This table shows the number of the respondents. In the two states, the number of women were more than that of men. This shows that women involved in cultivation as well as processing of cassava into other products like gari. In both states, men are, are less than number of women. We have 124 respondents in Bernie states, and 103 respondents in Oshun, given the total of 27 respondents across the two states. This table shows the proportion of men and women with regard to the variety cultivated across the states. We asked the men and women the reasons for cultivation of cassava during the survey aspect of the study. The leading reason for cultivation is the quality, food quality they can derive from the cassava, as well as the quantity of the products and the fresh food they can get from the cassava. This is followed by the ability of cassava to mature early, also followed by the ability of cassava to be able to stay in the soil. This is income stability, and cassava to release less water during the watering when processing to gari. And, and finally, the cassava's quality to be able to be used for different products that Need, meet the need of the cassava valuation actor. The next slide shows the respondent ranking of preferred food, fresh food characteristics as well as garlic characteristics during the survey and during the passage processing. The survey aspect comprises of the using the question here yeah, to ask the men and women cassava growers, as well as cassava processor, and marketers on the preferred cassava of gari 
and uh, cassava fresh fruit. Why the processing, processing comprises of the women notable for processing of gari, who make gari and also sell gari, we ask them the quality they look into in the fresh as well as gari after processing. During the survey, the leading traits ranked by the farmers and processor was the big long root, followed by heavy root, followed by many roots yield by cassava at harvest, ability of cassava to rotten less after harvest, less water in the cassava pulp after harvest and early maturity. Why the women that were asked during the basal processing measure the heaviness of roots, big long roots, quality and quantity of product from the root, less water in the root pulp, and the root pulp color as they prefer cancerous and their rank as stated on the slide. When we ask the men and women during the survey on the preferred traits for gari, the leading trait was the taste, sweet or sour, the color of gari, the dryness of gari and gari aroma, followed by other as stated on the slide. Why the women that inform as a process and mentioned granule size, the color of gari, the gari weight and taste as the quality trait they look in for after processing of cassava into gari. In both cases, during the survey of the processing, color and gari weight and taste take a good one rank best than other traits. The last slide shows the it shows the trait preferred by the gari consumers as well as the drivers of gari market. By the consumers who are surveyed during the survey portion of the study, test came first, followed by the dryness, and followed by the color. While for the marketers, the divers for Gary market was dryness, followed by the taste, and followed by the color. That's why these three trays were put in circle. Those are the trays preferred by the consumers as well as the Gary marketers during the study. In conclusion, the major fresh fruit cassava characteristics preferred by men and women were the size of the cassava, the heaviness of cassava that has less water, the cassava to have less rot at harvest, and the number more cassava root after harvest. Why the characteristics preferred for gari by men and women are uh, taste the granule size, color, cream or white, and dryness of the gari. These are also the major drivers of gari market. Food qualities and agronomic traits, the cassava end users play significant role on adoption of newly released cassava varieties. Gender interdisciplinary efforts will assist breeders in achieving demand life breeding to inform breeding objective. Finally, that breeding should focus on desired agronomy and good quality traits across the value chain users. This will increase adoption, utilization, and generate more profit for, for cassava at this period so that the cassava will maintain its value as economic crop in sub Saharan Africa. Thank you for listening.